that my brother William started. And yes, there will once again be a Sheridan in the White House. Think your FBI paper pushers are a match for Sheridan's assassins, Amos? I don't. Keep your opinions to yourself, General Carrington. As you know, we can't proceed with the investigation without proof. No one can stop me from conducting my own investigation, you hear me, Amos? Number 13 will soon no longer be a problem. I've just finished my rounds. Do you still need me in this area? Okay, I'll head back to HQ. Feels like today's gonna be a quiet one, huh? Did you see the water this morning? Whoa, what's that? Hold on. I'll call you right back. Sir, can you hear me? Easy. Looks like a bullet wound. Can you move your legs? I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? Hear me. I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. Be careful. Damn it. Helen, it's Janet. I just picked up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no idea and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect, we're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that? Good time. You tell the Mongols to spot the target. I'll report it. Get over here! He's alive with a bad shape!
Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please. As you can see, we've upgraded our security system. You can't be too careful in today's world, right? Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland. It's still at the far end of the room. Call me when you're ready to come out. Timer. Carrington was right. They took the bait. That's the mother load right there. The 20 would kill to get their hands on those files. We'll incriminate all of them from number 20 to number 1. What do you plan on doing on that boat? Confidential, huh? Oh, I get it. Well, if it's another one of that girl's ideas, I'd watch her six. She's nothing but trouble. Go ahead, set the bomb. Well, well. I don't get this security system. How do you look? Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh! 
Oh, this alarm is driving me crazy. If this robber would just take a hostage, then we could shut the damn... Oh my god! You are under arrest for the murder of William Sheridan. Amnesia, eh? Indeed, there is no better defense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Bannon, will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to... What good's a lawyer when you can't remember a thing? deposition, you even added that you don't feel like a killer. How touching. But the law doesn't operate on feelings, now does it? It operates on evidence, which I have in spades. Emery, the snapshots, please. Look at this photograph. See the impact on the back of the head? Where did the bullet come from, in your opinion? That building there, see? Right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well... Need I get a mirror, or are you finally going to confess to the assassination of... Agent Scott, line one. So where's that file? You're not going to believe this, Colonel. Steve Rowland's military file is missing from the Pentagon. And they're positive your man was killed in a mission down in Mexico over two years ago. Well, his widow's in for a surprise. But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Rowland... What the hell's going on here? Get you out of those cuffs. Great to see you again, Steve. Listen, Mongoose has found you. Meet me on the roof. And don't go using G-Men for target practice, okay? The girl from the bank.
ostrich. Hold on. They just blew up the door. What? <laughs> they realize who they're messing with? got undercover officers in Brooklyn. That's where the guy was transferred. Hurry, 110 Sterling Street. Hey, over here. 
seeing me again doesn't do anything for you, does it? I can't believe it. You really have lost your memory. Who are you? I'm Major Jones, first officer for General Carrington. Ring a bell? Carrington went missing three days ago. He was leading a parallel investigation into President Sheridan's assassination. He's the only one who can get you out of this mess. It's not safe here. Over the wall. Let's go. Here. I'll go first. Waiting on a call from an informant. He knows where they're holding Carrington. on the other side. I'll cover you. Running start.
No time to check the view. Let's go. I shouldn't have let you go on that boat alone. Jones, do you read me? I've got the info. Roger that. What do you got? Carrington's been arrested by General Stanwell. He's being held at Emerald, an isolated army base in the Appalachian Mountains. I still don't know why Stanwell wants to keep Carrington away from the vessel. I'm telling you, they're in there! Give me the RPG! Over there, the chopper! We're gonna need it! This can't be good. What the? Oh! Ah! <gasps> ah! Oh! 
Looks like something's going on over there. Wanna go check it out? Nah. I'll... Huh? and start sorting the weapons. We load the truck in one hour. Move your asses. Deactivate the four main generators. They're pumping 10,000 volts to those left. So much for a quiet entry.
There's the second truck. Who's right behind us? Can I take a look? Forget it. Let him bend for himself. shows a ventilation shaft in the cliff. Use your grappling hook to get down there. he's working with on the Sheridan case. If he clams up, take his cigars. That'll get the fuck talking.
of cigars. There. On the table. Hey, did you hear me, son? Did you hear me? You've got nothing left to prove with the spent, son. I've got a Class A hero mission to offer you. I must question this man. Will someone get my damn cigars? Shut up, Carrington! Why did they stick me in here? Am I dreaming? My God. I can't believe it. My best man alive. Here's your HF transmitter. Jones, can you read me? What? What do you mean, amnesia? Ah, oh, my cigars. <laughs> Look at this half-wit. Let's take care of them. Ready? Ready, son? Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leak. I'm gonna kill him. Those idiots still haven't found a way to fix this station. Come on, son, let's find that fuse. Get rid of these clowns. I'll brief Jones. All clear. Jones is waiting for us down there. Let's get out of here. 
Did you hear that? Cover me. the fuse and start this POS. Let's get the hell out of here. Just let us get away. Your amnesia really set us back, son. Damn, we were so close to finding the bastards. The night you disappeared, you were about to ID number one. But naturally, none of that rings a bell now. Listen. There are 20 of them, son. 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Captain Steve Rowland was one of them. The notorious number 13. He killed the president. But his accomplices betrayed him and hired the mongoose to kill him. And today he actually is dead. Well then, who am I? They're back. Watch out! Get down! Let me die. 
I'll take a look at the engine. Fun, General. But isn't it time you told me who I am? General, come in, General. The Mongols and his men are coming for me. They know everything. I hear you, Kim. Stay inside. We'll get you out of there. This is it for me, General. You hear me? And what kind of message you gonna get us into this time? Fly a heading of 270. Kilani Lake is just a few clicks from here. Who was that? An agent working with us on the case. Boss Alarm! It was the wrong cabin! We can't locate the target! Keep looking! The Mongoose is on his way! We'll hide the chopper. Notify us as soon as you see the cabin. According to the map, the cabin should be right under my feet. Relax. You see a woman who freaks out with your seizure, just grab her. <laughs> Give me a break. That looks like shit. Then you can do better. <laughs> this.
Um, hey, what's it back? Shut the fuck up and give me your compass. Uh. Welcome to Kansas, Dorothy. Jim up through the back of the cabin. We'll land the chopper nearby. Don't move. My God, you're alive. Kim. The girl in the fauna. The surgeon did an outstanding job. It's coming to increase the dose of the fentanyl. Shall I start the tattoo? Go ahead. How do you feel, son? This is the widow of Steve Rowland, the man whose identity you've taken. Steve was number 13. I was 17. The leaders of the conspiracy had my husband killed by the mongoose. But Steve managed to drag himself back here before dying. One day, I'll know the faces of those who betrayed him. I want them all to burn. You hear me? Even number one. And I want to find the bastard to put the hit on my friend Sheridan. And why? When they see Steve's ghost, they'll slip up. They might also figure out you betrayed them, Kim. I've identified three members of the conspiracy. They're headed for the Spads camp to attend a secret meeting. You have to be there too. My part of the mission is finished. Now it's your turn. Cover me! I found it! Over here!
conducted in Ward C. Now that I'm cured, Doctor, may I reintegrate my unit? <laughs> Pinhead! Pinhead! Macaulay's a pinhead! <laughs> yes, sir, Colonel! <laughs> Has our new patient recovered his wits? So, my friend, I hear you suffer from amnesia. Yes, sir, Colonel! Shut up! Relax. Plain Rock is blessed with an excellent neurology center. Well, has he spoken? Patience, he only just came to. Number one wants the names of his accomplices. That number 17 imposter may not be the only one who's infiltrated the group. Examine his chest as well. Tell me if you find traces of the three bullets I put in him. I'm starting to doubt this man's identity. I'll take care of it right away. Hose him down and bring him to me. supposed to bring me the soldier. Dr. Johansson's orders. Derek and Jerry will be disappointed. What's wrong with him? Okay. Oh, you lucky dog. Got the whole bathroom all to yourself. Like there's a new kid in.
Wow, what a glorious day! Uh, uh, can, can someone give me directions? Uh, I'm not from around here.
way, it thanks you for your patronage and wishes you a very fine day. Thank you, Miss Jameson. Please come again. Why won't you talk to me, Miss Jameson? It's not that bad. Come on, put your head back on. I need my turtles to show you. Dr. Michael. <sighs> Good evening, Brenda. Anything new in the MDR? Still nothing. Good God, Joe. Whatever, Brenda. See you tomorrow. Congratulate your wife for me. Is it? What about this one? Ugh, another rat. Ugh, 
The least they could do is seal the vent. Please, don't shoot me! Section cars over here. Sanctuary. There are 20 of them, 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome the leaders of the group to my estate. And as the prestige of these surroundings is in keeping with our ambitions, I hereby offer you the opportunity to organize our general meeting here. Transmitter, at last. <clears throat> Please. Oh, thank you, thank you. He's in there! Mm. Safety's off! Take me hostage! You don't have a choice!
Jones, do you read me? Loud and clear. I'm flying overhead. Get out of there. Hurry! Oh my god! Find the wheel, drive. Okay, just don't hurt me, please. Alert! You won't get anywhere in this ambulance. We're in the middle of the desert. There's nothing for miles. This is insane. They're gonna kill you like a dog. Watch out! But I'll never forget you. Hey! Good luck!
nothing! Keep searching! Over there! Look! There's a way out behind the ruins. The plane's close by.
Jones, finally. I feel like I've spent three months inside a tin can. Okay. What do you say we hop on down to Mexico, Captain? Hmm. Margarita's on the beach? More like Rangers and Red Berets. Tighten up your panties. We're going super sunny. Colonel McCall runs this badge training camp, and Kim suspects he's part of the conspiracy. You won't be running into many intellectuals down there, mostly black ops, knuckle draggers. This could be another one of that blonde's con jobs. I trust her. Uh-huh. You save her life, and she splits. Jealous, Major? Just get in the damn boat. Watchtower, and look out for searchlights. Think they're goddamn John Rambo? Where the fuck? Get those fools from anyway. Wherever it was, he sure assembled one hell of a crew. Let's not bother number one with this problem. In any case, 13 has no power to disrupt the plan. My men are standing by, General Standwell. He's been causing quite a ruckus since his resurrection, but our first maneuver them. Perfect. Now find McCall's tent and plant the bug. Fly! 
His name was Jason Fox! Hey, Fly! I'm out on leave tonight, so don't make me look bad while I'm out. Just because you won yesterday's exercise doesn't make you a hero around here. Steve Rowland, the man whose identity I took. You can fly, you can hide, you can close your mind, but I'm still on the road, trying to escape. The prison in my mind I've seen you within my dreams Seas Fed by a million oh. streams Tears Raining down from the clouds Now calls in the same tent to use the desert storm. That should give you an idea of what it looks like.
bug behind the intercom. Good evening, number one. President Galbraine still believes in a simulated state of war and has just authorized the SPADs to supervise the army during the maneuvers. Over. Good. Number five. I'll be receiving the list of those supporting the cause tomorrow. Number nine will hand it to me at the bottom. Over. Number eleven. The armed ship will arrive tonight. My men are eager to serve the cause. Even more impatient than his men, isn't he, Colonel? Very perceptive of you, General. <laughs> <laughs> I just got all that on tape. Now find Roland's file. You can blow this thing wide open. in stock of weapons, but we're going to blow it up. Get back to the boat. What the hell's going on? I told him not to smoke around the hangar. Watch out! They could blow again!
The munitions hangar blew up! Bad news, the Spads found the boat. Find another way out. your skills. He wants to reintegrate you into the crew. Drop your weapon, man. Let's talk about this. to the base. It's your only way out. You hear that explosion earlier?
dive. Reporting is ordered, Captain. I don't want to be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Yes, sir, Captain. Submerging. Submerging. This is number seven. I repeat, this is number seven. This is number one. Over. I moved up the USS Patriot's departure for the protection of the shipment. The Spatz camp has suffered heavy losses. Number 11 is no longer with us. Change your course and cast off for Maryland Harbor. Aboard Resolute AFDM-10. But carry out your mission. Complete your mission. This is number 17. Carry out your mission. In a few seconds, I'll contact number one. Try to identify the man who answers my call, and we'll finally figure out who number one really is. Number one? Number one? Number 17 reporting. Do you copy? This is number one. What's happening? I passed on the latest plans to number 11. Standing by for your instructions. You weren't supposed to call me until you got the signal. Number 17? Hello? Number 17? I can't read you. Number one. I was so close. I just have to remember his face. USS Patriot, report your destination. Over. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10. Over. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Fore and aft submerged. Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye. Oh. Here's a nice spot to stow away. Immersion to 60 feet. Check all hatches. Steve Rowland, you are under arrest for the murder of William Sheridan. And today he actually is dead. Casting off 
Who's there? Never make it out alive, Roland. We'll both blow up with the missiles. I'd rather die here than tell number one we failed.
Has someone at least tried to open the airlock? It won't open. Send down some divers. I want to know what's going on. Yes, sir, Colonel. Jones, do you read me? I'm just leaving the airport now. Carrington's taking it from here. He'll pick you up outside Hangar 33. Secure the explosive to the propeller.
bad place to be. I better turn back. radioed for 24 hours. I heard the camp's going to be relocated for security reasons.
tells me you have a present for me. Give him Roland's file, son. Captain Steve Roland faked his own death, officially killed in action. After that, he was free to assassinate the president without anyone suspecting him. But he didn't plan on getting squeezed by his employers. Yes. Killed by the mongoose. Yet he somehow got back to his wife's house, where he died. Kim Rowland is the one who came up with the dead ringer idea. I arranged for this man to undergo plastic surgery in order to make him resemble Steve Rowland. The bait worked like a charm. The wolves came out of their den. Colonel Amos, this man is innocent. It's high time we started sharing our information. What do you think? They're preparing a coup, General. Two of them are meeting tonight, and I know where. Find room 40. 
take one and keep out of sight. If our two suspects sense anything, they'll call off the meeting. Winslow's just arrived. He should be upstairs in less than a minute. Agents alert, get ready, he's on his way. He's in the meeting room. Copy, go to 1025. Can you connect me to frequency one? Done. Mm -hmm. Come back up here for <sighs> more alert. there. Practice aiming at him with the shotgun mic. Keep him in your sight. Good. Stay on him. Now follow him. Careful. You're losing the target. They're coming. Get ready. Ah, the mongoose. Come to report the death of number 13, right? I'm here to ensure your safety, Mr. Winslow. Sensational. We're behind schedule. What's the latest update, number 9? I managed to convince them all. Corporate, finance, even the media. This country's most influential people are ready to support the future regime. I have on me the list of supporters. I'll give it to number three tonight while we wait for battle. What do you think, number five? Perfect. And on my end, the news is rather encouraging. Despite a slight setback, we'll control all of the country's strategic points by tomorrow evening. Through Operation Total Red, we will finally be able to establish our authority. And as anticipated, President Galbrain doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> Get away.
the address of the sanctuary. Their headquarters are Willard's estate. We've got them. Infiltrate the sanctuary and find their meeting room. I can't wait to see number one's face. They must be on high alert. Keep out of sight until I give you the signal. No. The champagne still hasn't been delivered and I can't reach Mr. Willard. Hmm. Tell them that's not what I'm paid to. <sighs> Sam Hell.
number one safety is not an issue. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows his identity. Anonymity is more effective than an army of bodyguards. The instructions are clear. We're going ahead with operations. In that case, we'd better go reassure our guests. Um, don't forget your robe. Stay posted in this room. Yes, sir. Not the only one missing. Th what the? <sighs>
sure? There's a few missing VIPs today. Trust me, I have the list of absentees. What the? <laughs> the maneuvers will be launched tomorrow morning during Operation Total Red. When number three gives the signal, the SPADS units, supervising the armed forces, will impose martial law on the entire country. In less than 24 hours, the new government will be in place. Let us rejoice in advance at the success of our enterprise and duly celebrate the dawn of a new era! <sighs> Let's not keep the buffet waiting, gentlemen. That's all we need. Leave the sanctuary.
rid of these enemy helicopters. They're preventing us from getting close enough. Senator Walter Sheridan? Carrington told me everything. I want to help you apprehend my brother's killers. There are 20 conspiracy leaders, all of them with influential positions. Their goal is to abolish democracy in our country by imposing a totalitarian regime. There's this a monstrous plan. They aim to take control of the country's strategic network during the war simulation tomorrow. The control center is located in SSH-1. I have access there any time of day or night. That's where we'll find number one. I'm going with you. And then, General, we'll resume our little chat where we left off. to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Welcome to SSH-1, Senator Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. Find another way. I'll walk you out, Colonel. Good day, Colonel. Oh, um, uh, uh, good evening, Colonel. I have seen you in my dreams. Please spread my hope. Yes, sir. Colonel Marshall, 
Hollywood left the premises. Coffee machine ate my change. Ugh. What is Sheridan doing in SSH-1 during an election campaign? This is sheer provocation. I... I knew that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. He picked a fine day to do it. By the way, where the hell are my bodyguards? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, sir, just a second, Calvin. Give me some change. Mr. President, sir, the spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of Total Red. Those hotheads? Confound it! Not one machine on this base works! But, Mr. President... 
Nothing but the dregs of society, recruited by McCall. Mr. President. But if you feel they're the best, Calvin. before it's too late. You should take the president to a safe place and find Sheriff. I've lost contact. Got him.
are in position around the strategic network centers. Prepare to declare a state of Brain, but he's out of commission. No one knows the access code for the missile control room. Find him and abort the process. It's your only chance. There's 2,000 megatons ready to blow right under us. Come on, we've got to leave the base. It's too late. Give me the access code, quick. The code? This way. If I live through this, I'm going into marketing. Damn it! Code! Code! Oh, what is the code? APX420. No, HBX604. APH624. That's it! Oh! Up to you now. <sighs> Commencing final phase of destruction sequence. This is not good. Destruction sequence initiated. Destruction sequence canceled.
Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason Flack? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone. like that again and I'll take you out myself. Come on, let's evac now. You magnificent son of a bitch. You okay, Wally? Is it really over? You bet your ass. <laughs> No information about my past, General. Son, the day I recruited you, I didn't ask for your resume. I've always hired my boys based on their skills, and you were a cut above. Hmm, what about Jones? You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something. And fly our national hero. It's a great honor. Hey, How do you like my new uniform? Well, baby, you are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny, too. I know. Not interested, huh? <sighs> Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself.
Ah, there he is. Hey, where's your tuxedo? Hello, Fly. Finally we meet under better circumstances. Are the fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly? <laughs> <laughs> 